High School, Senior High School, Division of Islamis Oriental. I am your teacher for this episode on Earth and Life Science. Before we start with our lesson today, let us recall the factors that make a planet habitable. Can you name the five factors? Part of the Earth. 
Do you know where it is located? That is absolutely correct. The geosphere lies beneath both the atmosphere and the ocean. Because the geosphere is not uniform, it is divided into three main parts based on differences in composition. The core, the mantle, and the crust. The dense or heavy inner sphere is the core. The less dense is the mantle. And the lighter thin part is the crust, which is not uniform in thickness. It is thinnest beneath the oceans and thickest beneath its continents. The crust and the uppermost mantle make up a rigid outer layer called the lithosphere, where the rocks become partially melted, which are able to flow slowly because of the uneven distribution of heat deep within the earth. This region is called the asthenosphere. Beneath the asthenosphere, the rock becomes stronger again, and this region is called the lower mantle. The last subsystem of the Earth is the biosphere. To define the biosphere, what does bio mean? Bio means life or living things. Thus, the biosphere includes all life on Earth. It is concentrated in a zone that extends from the ocean floor upward for several kilometers into the atmosphere. Plants and animals depend on the physical environment for life. However, organisms do more than just respond to their physical environment. Through countless interactions, organisms help maintain and alter their physical environment. Without life, the makeup and nature of the solid earth, hydrosphere and atmosphere would be different. So those are the four subsystems of the earth. Let's have a brief recap on our topic for today. We have hydrosphere, which includes all water found on under and over the surface of the earth. The atmosphere, which are the gases that surround the earth, are commonly known as the earth's air. The geosphere, which is the solid earth, and biosphere, which includes all the life on earth. Understanding of today's lesson. Prepare a ballpen and a piece of paper to answer the following questions. I will repeat each question twice and you will be given five seconds to answer each question. Ready? Let's begin. Number one. Which of the following is not one of the four major geological subsystems of the earth? A biosphere, B, geosphere, C, atmosphere, or letter D, water sphere. Again, which of the following is not one of the four major geological subsystems of the earth? A, biosphere, B, geosphere, C, atmosphere, or letter D, water sphere. Number two, which subsystem helps regulate the temperature of the earth so we do not experience too much hotness or coldness? A, biosphere, B, geosphere, C, atmosphere, or letter D, hydrosphere. Again, 
which subsystem helps regulate the temperature of the earth, so we do not experience too much hotness or coldness. A. Biosphere B. Geosphere C. Atmosphere or letter D. Hydrosphere Number 3. In which subsystem do bodies of water surrounding the Earth belong? A. Hydrosphere B. Geosphere C. Biosphere or letter D. Atmosphere Again, in which subsystem do bodies of water surrounding the Earth belong? A. Hydrosphere B. Geosphere C. Biosphere or letter D. Atmosphere Number 4. Which subsystem contains all living organisms of the Earth, including those on the land, in the water, and air? A. Biosphere B. Geosphere C. Atmosphere or letter D. Hydrosphere Again, which subsystem contains all living organisms of the Earth, including those on the land, in the water, and air? A. Biosphere B. Geosphere C. Atmosphere or letter D. Hydrosphere Number 5. What is the name of the thin layer of solid rock that makes the outermost part of the Earth? A. Core B. Mantle C. Crust or letter D. Biosphere Again, what is the name of the thin layer of solid rock that makes up the outermost part of the Earth? A. Core B. Mantle C. Crust or letter D. Biosphere Congratulations! Now we are finally done with the short quiz. Please submit your papers to your respective subject teacher via messenger, email, or submission on your next module distribution. And that ends our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. Again, I am teacher Gisela Esquinas from San Oriental General Comprehensive High School, Senior High School, Division of the Sun is Oriental. Tune in for another learning episode next time. Bye!